Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. We are going to be uh, talking about a very overpriced hair dryer that I cannot believe I spent so much money on. We're talking about the new Dyson hair dryer. Did you ever think in a million years that you would go to Sephora.com and see Dyson as a beauty brand? I mean, I like Dyson. I have a Dyson vacuum cleaner. I think their fans are pretty cool. I mean, uh, it's kind of awesome. Now when you go in public restrooms, they have that like, like crazy thing that you put your hands in you're like magically they're dried so fast Dyson technology thank you like their technology is pretty cool so apparently they have spent a lot of money and a lot of time developing like the world's perfect hair dryer and that is what I'm holding in my hand right here court is now in session I feel like I have gone through with a fine tooth comb and figured out every good thing about this product and I did my best to kind of pro and con it but Dyson, their whole team, they're pretty smart. They really did a good job with this. And I'm gonna show you all the features and what makes it you know, different and stand out from the rest. I do not think there's any justifying the price. I think it should be about $100 less. I just, I don't feel like people can afford a $400 hair dryer. I just don't. I mean, I don't know if you like wait a whole year and you're like, please, this is the one birthday gift I want or the one Christmas gift or whatever, but it just seems like a really big purchase for a hair dryer. You know, my belief is a lot of times when you spend 15 bucks on a cheap dryer at the drugstore, that technology is not gonna last you. It's gonna get the job done for a little bit, but if you're looking for something that is gonna be good for years and years and years, you wanna spend a little bit more, you want the motor to be a little bit stronger, you wanna get something a little bit nicer. And this is definitely this is like the Bentley of hair dryers. I'm just gonna say that. It looks weird, but it is, they did a good job with all of the cool technology, which we're about to get to. I also wanna mention, you guys, it's Thursday. Every Thursday, I tell you I'm gonna be in the live chat on Style Code Live, and I'm gonna talk about a hot product of the week, which this week, it is very, very good. It's a new trick I'm doing with my foundation, and you definitely wanna check that out. But also, on the show tonight, they are announcing the finalists for the Style Code Live talent search, and I'm really, really excited. So definitely tune in. I will be there in the live chat with my Snapchat open, just kind of talking with you guys, snapping the show, hanging out. So definitely be there, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. The link will be in the description box below. So let's hop into what makes this $400 hair dryer so gosh darn magical. I spent $400 on a hair dryer. I bought this myself. This is not sponsored. Let's just get that out of the way. Uh, there are a lot of great qualities about this uh, hair dryer that I really, really love, and we're gonna talk about all of those. I also wanna say I do love their vacuum cleaners, and I do see a, a big difference with them. I remember getting my first Dyson. It was like a big moment. I was like, I'm a real adult now. And uh, yeah, they kind of like game changed vacuum cleaning. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. <laughs> it's trash day, so there's a lot of noise outside. While we're waiting for whatever this guy outside is doing to like calm down, Let's talk about my eyeshadow really quick because yesterday was the WTF on the $200 25th anniversary palette from Bobbi Brown. I'm wearing it again today. And I just wanna say the more I use this palette, the more I am impressed by it. It's super crazy expensive. But this is what I said to my mom and I just wanna say this to viewers out there that might be on the same path. If you are not a makeup collector where you're like, I have to get the new Naked palette, I have to get the new MAC palette, I have to get the knew this if you just want one bomb easy to blend neutral palette then that one is totally worth it i can't stop using it oh my god it's so loud he's like right out of my window i cannot put it down it makes doing my makeup so effortless and i feel very natural i don't feel over the top i just feel very like pretty natural so i am loving that palette still i am wearing it again today I have a feeling I'm gonna be here for a while. I can actually visually see the trash guy outside of my window. I'm getting very excited to move. Who enjoyed the sneak peek of the new place in yesterday's video as well? Okay, back to the dryer. We're just gonna try and do this. Speaking of noise, this is a very lightweight dryer, but I do feel like it's kind of loud, right? Look how powerful this thing is though. Oh. oh my god! Right. 
It's a little bit noisy. It is pretty lightweight compared to other hair dryers that I have. The weird thing with this is when you turn it on, it becomes even more lightweight. It kind of has a kick to it where you're like, oh, and like the air is going through and it's a little bit more lightweight. I do like the handle. It takes a minute to get used to it. You do not have to use this device just like this. If you're looking at it going, whoa, that's like a crazy airflow. That's a little bit intense. Do not you do get three attachments and they are magnetic, which is pretty cool. You don't have to like twist and like find that little, you know, like thing in there to hook in and twist. It actually just snaps right in. So you have a nozzle that's a little bit wider that is going to allow you to blow dry your hair with a round brush. You're gonna style the hair, you're gonna blow out the hair, you have somewhat controlled airflow. Then you have an even smaller nozzle which is going to allow you to really control the airflow. This is more for precise styling. The other nozzle is for drying the hair and gives you more precise airflow, but this is even more precise. And then you have a diffuser. So this is great for curly haired girls. This is going to mimic what your hair would go through with air dry styling hair dry styling basically like when you don't do anything but you wait hours and hours for your hair to naturally dry this is going to do that same thing but obviously it's going to speed up the amount of time that it would take so if you have curly or frizzy hair that you want to just diffuse this is your attachment those are the three attachments i enjoy that they snap right on the thing that i enjoy the most this dryer is the strongest dryer i have ever used like when you go in the public restroom and you put your hands in the dyson thing and it's like like that is what this airflow does so you dry your hair so quickly it's quite amazing i love that there are three different heat settings there are three different airflow settings so you could have high high heat and have not so much air coming out you could have a low heat and a ton of air coming out you can mix and match whatever settings work best for you you do also have a cool button if you want a cool air blast for a longer amount of time just take all the heat settings down it does get pretty cool pretty quickly all in all, I love the settings. They're very easy. Another feature that I do really enjoy is the filter. You can actually like twist it and take this off and clean the filter right here very easily. That is the quickest way to damage your hair with a blow dryer is to allow the filter to get all clogged and then the heat is coming out uneven and the flow is coming out uneven and you're burning your hair and damaging your hair. With this, you're not gonna have that experience. The other thing, and actually this is not like, oh, the other thing. It says the temperature is measured 20 times a second. I don't know how that's possible. I thought it was every 20 seconds. 20 times a second? That seems crazy to me. They call the technology intelligent heat control. It is monitoring that you are getting an even flow of heat. So you are not burning your hair. This can happen so easily, even with very, very high-end dryers because you know, stylists, they typically work with dryers that have really good motors and they pay more money for just really more intense dryers that honestly, I don't know if you need as a consumer that just dries your hair and not like 10 clients every day. But my point is I've had so many different hair dryers that are top notch brands pointed at my head having my hair done for events, for Style Code Live, for just, you know, different things going on. I've had my hair done many, many times by professionals. And even then I've had my hair burn and you can actually smell it and feel it. And when the temperature gets haywire, you're sitting there and you can feel that you're experiencing that. So I am excited that there is that technology in here. I think that is really a game changer. I am hoping and praying that using this uh, blow dryer my hair ends up not being as damaged as it has been over the past six months or so this does come in two colors I of course got the one with the pink or magenta I really like it it does have a little rubberized thing that you get with it as well if you want to just keep this on your counter you can if you want to hook this underneath your cupboard on one of those little hooks you know a lot of companies sell those things that kind of those caddies that really keep your hot tools and blow dryers and everything organized it does come with this little guy which you can hook on the base and that will allow you to hang it up without damaging anything about the device itself. Everything is thought through. Like they must've had so many meetings about this 
blow dryer. I mean, really, they put everything in here. I'm looking at this going, but does it have this? But does it have a cool button? But does it have the heat settings? It has everything, everything. They did a really good job with this. I'm gonna say it's a hot product. I'm gonna say it's a ridiculous price. I think it is way too expensive. I wish, I wish it was not $3.99. I wish it was $2.99. And I feel like that would be a little bit more like, oh, we could all kind of like deal with that. This feels like it's gonna be so out of reach for so many women and I hate that. This is a newer launch. I get they put a lot of money into research and developing this product, but hopefully over time, maybe they'll come out with models that are not so expensive so that we can all experience them. I wanna throw it out there, one of my very first luxury purchases ever. I was around 20. I was working at a beauty supply and I purchased a bioionic hair dryer because I really believed that it would last me a lot longer. And I kept running into the issue of buying 30, $40 hair dryers at the drug store and having them break and in my mind I was like okay I'm gonna save up I'm gonna buy a good dryer and it's gonna last and it did that sucker lasted me for years and years and years and years until my dumb self like dropped it and I'm the one that broke it so I am a believer that you do get what you pay for and I don't think that this is going to break on you you do get a two-year limited warranty with it if that helps you out at all I don't know I mean maybe Costco is gonna end up selling them alongside their vacuum cleaners and we can all get a little bit of a discount you know there we can all hope right fingers crossed but for now this is available at sephora i think it's a really interesting cool new launch and on my channel i'm going to cover it all so i did want to give this one a whirl also i just want to give you a peek when you open the box itself this is what you're looking at this is what you get you have everything housed it all makes a lot of sense it's a really beautiful presentation i have actually had james try this dryer out as well and we did a time test where he used my other dryer that i've been using versus this one and on the high setting which i don't know that i would use the high setting all the time because it just gives you such a crazy blast of air he doesn't really care. He's just like, cool, this is this is drying my hair so fast. You know, and he just will then like pat it down with a little bit of product. Um, he loves that this will dry his hair very, very quickly. It does dry it faster than any other hair dryer that I have and we've tested out a few. So that's pretty cool. I don't really have anything bad to say about it other than the price is crazy. The second that this stops being awesome, I will be the first to tell you, but I have a lot of hope right now. In other news, I want to encourage you guys to go and watch Style Code Live. Let's all tune in together. I will be in the live chat. The link will be below in the description, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. You guys better be there. Come say hello to me. And yeah, I'll be waiting to see you with Snapchat open. So come hang out with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Hot or Not. As always, leave comments what you want to see in the future. You guys tweeted me so many photos of this and... Now I have a, a new hair dryer that's way overpriced, but really, really cool. So thank you for that. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, whatever you are doing. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.